everybody, welcome back to Chiquelle's YouTube channel. My name is Amanda and I'm here today to give you a review of Well Played by Raquel Welch. But before I dive in, just wanted to remind you to like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel where you can see a lot more reviews, tips and tricks on alternative hair and so much more. Okay, so Well Played, that's on my head right now. Let me tell you, I was absolutely surprised when I put her on my head and that's because she is one of those um, wigs that when I looked at the stock image of the model wearing it, I wasn't sure I liked it. I'm going to, here, this is the picture here. This is what it looked like. And I was thinking that's a lot of like, whoosh, that was a lot of volume in the front. I thought it was a bit too much. It looked like it was a lot of hair, a lot of volume, and I just yeah, wasn't really into it. But then, but then I got it. I put it on my head, of course, and I, I love it. I, this is probably, I mean, I love a lot of wigs if I'm being honest, but I would put this up there in like top 10, which is, that's a pretty hard list to crack. She is not as much density as I thought she was going to be. She is not as voluminous as I thought she was going to be. There's not as much permatease as I thought there was going to be. She's just so darn nice. So let me tell you all about her. She's made with Raquel Welch's True to Life Heat Friendly Fibers, which I find I prefer for longer straight pieces. And that's because it's easy to maintain the frizziness with a heat defiant wig when it's straight. So I say this all the time, but heat defiant fibers get frizzy and frazzly and clumpy and kind of gummy a little bit, but the way to help that and maintain the fibers and get all of that away is with heat. And when you add heat to a curly piece, you're going to take out the curl. But if you add heat to a straight piece, can't really take out the straight it's just gonna stay straight so you're not going to be ruining the style in any way and especially on this one this one is like a pretty stick straight piece this is probably going to be one of the easiest to maintain heat defiant wigs out there because of its straightness anytime you find that there is some frizziness take your hair straightener take a comb run it through and the frizziness will be gone. So it's ease to maintain is one of my favorite features about this wig in general. So let's talk about the density now. So this is set to be a medium density and I would agree with that. However, the layering in it, there's some longer layers in it. It makes it um, nice and feathery at the ends so it doesn't feel too thick at the ends. It kind of tapers off a little bit, which is nice. You don't feel like there's too much hair. And in terms of the permatease, it is minimal. Like I run my fingers through here and it's honestly just oh, ever so slight. You can almost even hardly tell if there is any. It's so slight, so minimal, which helps make this a low profile look so you're not feeling like you have too much poofiness on your head. It's very sleek, low profile, and easy to wear this piece. All right, so what does this cap have on it? Well, it has Raquel Welch's beautiful extended temple to temple lace front. So it goes, I'm pulling it back a bit here so you can see where that lace comes to, all the way to mid ear tab on both sides. Now, of course, I'm wearing a darker color and you can always tend to see the knotting with darker colors. If you were to get this in a lighter piece or even in a rooted piece that has highlights, you're gonna find that the knotting is not as visible. So the darker the color of wig, the more visible the knots are. This doesn't bother me. Um, Raquel Welch, I find, has more um, small knots as, a, as opposed to some other brands. So their knotting isn't quite as evident as some other brands, um, but in general, it doesn't really bother me. If it does bother you, feel free to get some um, makeup and dab it right into your lace front here, as well as along the part line, and that's gonna help blur your knots a little bit. Now with the lace front, sometimes I find that some are quite dense at the front, um, and it makes it hard to pull back and off your face. But this one has a really good density within the lace front here. There's not too much hair and it makes it easy to pull back. 
This also has a monofilament left part. So that's this kind of lace-like material along the part line that gives you that illusion of scalp um, and hair growth from your scalp. Now, since it's only a monofilament left part, you can't really change the part. I'll show you this cap in just a second, um, but there's only an inch space here that you can play with the part. So if you want a right part, then well played, unfortunately, is not gonna work for you because if I made a right part, you're gonna see the wefting and the cap. And that is not ideal. <laughs> so if you want that natural look of scalp, this is for a left parted person. All right, let me give you the full spin here. Now I'm wearing this in the color RL2 slash four off black. And that's pretty much exactly what this is. It's an off black color. You have your darkest, darkest brown, almost black color, which is the two. And then you have the four, which is a dark brown. And they mix together to make this off black color. Um, I have talked about this color in a video and have compared it to other brunettes by Raquel Welch um, in a video I've just recently done. So if you want to go back and compare this to other brunettes, then go back, watch that video. Um, and hopefully that's going to be informative for you along your journey to selecting a color. So in terms of the length of this wig, you're going to find the front is a little bit shorter and goes down in a nice layered look to the tips here. So the front is going to be about nine inches long. The sides, crown, nape, pretty much everywhere else is going to be 12 inches. So there's some consistency along there, but because it's 12 inches from the crown and then 12 inches from the nape and 12 inches from the sides, they're all put at different spots. So it's going to give you some nice natural layers throughout here. I should also mention that the fibers on Well Played feel really soft. I, I really enjoy petting my head. <laughs> now, this could be a piece you could put back into a ponytail. Now, just remember, whenever you do ponytails, that the back, where the nape is, that's going to show a little bit. I don't know if you can see. So it's always worth pulling that nape down and almost bubbling out your hair so that it covers up your nape a little bit. And whenever I do ponytails, I also like to pull some of these pieces out in the front to create sort of a softer face framing layer there. Too much, too chunky. Um, and I generally do it on both sides. That's just a personal preference of mine. Um, but a ponytail is doable. So is a bun. You could do a little bun here. Uh, you could put it up into a claw. That would be a nice glamorous kind of look. I like that. And then of course you could definitely do a half up half down as well. However, make sure that when you are doing a half up half down, you're not exposing the wefting. So I'll show you if you pull it too tight and don't take a look, you're going to see this. So that's going to be a dead giveaway you're wearing a wig. So whenever you do something like a half up half down, you need to pull that hair down to help cover up the wefting so that you don't give away your secret. <laughs> um, anyways, and again, I also keep some pieces pulled out in the front whenever I do half up half downs as well. All right, let me just show you what this cap looks like on the inside. All right, so here is the lace front that goes extended temple to temple and it goes right into your left part here. So this is all the same lace material, all in one. The top here is just a closed wefting and the rest of your cap is open wefts. Um, so open wefts are really great because they can stretch really well. Uh, they're breathable, well ventilated. Um, great for anyone who's in a warmer climate. And then we have velvet ear tabs with the metal stays in them. The metal stays are what help keep the wig flush against your temple so it's not flopping around everywhere. And it's why we don't need to glue these wigs at all. And then we have the extended uh, velvet nape as well as Velcro adjusters to uh, loosen or tighten your circumference. All right, now the fit of this, in my opinion, it feels very true to average. 
Often Raquel Welch will feel a little bit bigger than average, but this one, I feel it's pretty true to average. Um, I am a petite sized head. I am 20.5 inches circumference, 11 and a half front to nape, 11 and a half ear to ear. This feels like it could fit me with a bit of extra bulk in the back, but I don't mind that. I can deal with that. All I would have to do is bring in the Velcro adjusters a little bit and I'm good to go. So if you're okay with the bulk in the back, like I am, and you are petite like me, then this could work for you. If you're an average, this could definitely work for you. If you're an average large, um, it could work for you in circumference. You would have to double check your front to back um, and ear to ear. Cause I find if your head is a little bit larger, like within your head part, as opposed to your circumference, that's when your wig wants to start slipping back a bit and it doesn't want to stay forward. I always have people being like, well, why is my wig slipping back? Why isn't it staying on? It's probably because you're stretching it too far over top of your whole head so that it's having a hard time staying and it's just kind of slowly slipping back. Does that make sense? So sometimes tightening it around your circumference will help it stay a bit better. Using a wig grip will help it stay. You can always add some uh, clips. You can sew some clips into it to help it clip into your bio hair if you have bio hair. All right, I think that's about all I have to share with you about Well Played. Um, my final thoughts on this wig are that I, I love it so stinking much. <laughs> This is one that I think could work for a really nice everyday wig. It's not too dressed up. It's not too frumpy looking. It's just your classic, straight, normal wig. Like there's not too much happening with it. So if Well Played is a piece that you really like, you can find this on our website at chiquelle.com, chiquelle.ca if you're in Canada or chiquelle.com.au if you are in Australia. And if there's any other pieces that you're interested in, we also carry a ton of brands. So go ahead and check it all out. But for now, thank you so much for being here and supporting me. I really appreciate it, you guys. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.